My name is Mark Shankle. I'm a research agronomist with Mississippi State University. We're here today at the uh, Pontotoc Ridge Flatwoods Branch Experiment Station. It's about seven miles uh, south of Pontotoc on Highway 15. Today we're going to talk, be talking about soybean. That It's a project funded by the Soybean Promotion Board. And uh, one of the things that uh, we want to do is uh, look at uh, potassium deficiency with this study. Uh, potassium is uh, right behind nitrogen as one of the major nutrients that uh, can influence yield of, of soybean. With potassium, it helps with uh, um, in a stressful conditions like water stress by regulating the opening and closing of the stomata. It helps with uh, uh, stalk strength, which um, can help minimize lodging. It helps with disease and um, also seed quality. So we've developed, but we've got a study. This will be our third year looking in a rain fed environment, looking at both private and public laboratories, uh, looking in a late group three. And, and what we're seeing is that uh, these laboratories are um, categorizing the uh, levels of potassium in the soil the same. It's either low, medium, or high. Yet, um, so, so they both would say that, that potassium level in the soil was low, but their recommendations will vary and the amount that they uh, uh, suggest or recommend to correct that um, potassium level. So we want to determine which one is, uh, uh, what, wh where in that rate range is the best potassium level to apply based on yield in our net return. We're going to put the economics to it too. We're here at a, a trial location and this is like the second phase of this research project and what we're looking at here is a, a study looking at uh, the latest and greatest soybean variety determined number one on average uh, to be the best yielding variety in the state of Mississippi and that is uh, ASGRO 5332 and we're comparing that variety to the uh, uh, Hutchinson variety that was developed, uh, released from Virginia Tech in about 1987. And the reason we compa we're comparing these two varieties is because uh, these uh, soil testing laboratories that provide or recommend a higher rate of fertilizer are basing their higher recommended rates on the basis that these newer varieties are mining more nutrients from the soil and producing a larger yield. So we wanted to, to compare these new varieties to that uh, older traditional conventional bean uh, side by side under the different fertility, fertility regimes as well as the different recommendations from these different labs in a rain fed environment and then an irrigated environment. We had a lot of dry weather early in June. Uh, we were going to start uh, managing our water uh, around July the 4th. And then we received eight inches of rainfall. So we've, uh, this is only our second irrigation. What we've come up with was an irrigation schedule, about an inch of rainfall every six days. And if we get a quarter inch of rainfall, that sets us back about a day in our irrigation timing. Just like to thank the Soybean Promotion Board and I hope we can benefit the growers of Mississippi and uh, um, around the, the south, southeastern U.S. with this study that we're conducting. Thanks a lot.